midnight waking, 3.17am. Insomnia is like an itch, painful, mundane, self-destructive. Like you're sitting here tapping your own skull with a pencil. I read 100 pages of Night Waking by Sarah Moss through one of the many nights I've not been able to sleep. It was an ironic companion, although my wakefulness is not related to baby nightmares, but related to my own fear. I've had insomnia since I was about 15, and I've had problems with night waking and nightmaring for a long time. I used to cry in my cot. I used to have the most vivid horrors visit me, vibrant with menace and disruption, and they resurface within me to this day. Whatever way I describe this, I'm still awake, awake for too long, too late, too early. Like my namesake Anna, the main character in Night Waking, I'm awake as the sun rises. I'm still alone. Ensconced in my own tiredness, heavy bodied, too real, sunrise. I don't sleep enough, but I manage to dream. Dream of the future being different, of the time spent in the world not exhausted. Sometimes my insomnia gives me access to quiet moments of grace. Time to contemplate light, the stillness of the sleeping house, the softness of watching your best friends sleep curled or stretched together, childish in their pink cheek tender bodies. There is the loneliness of lying awake in a room full of dreaming people, and I try to wakefully dream too. Dream of a world without the pain, a world with justice, a world without the boredom of lying here, lying here, lying here, lying here unable to sleep. 